Well, I think the overall challenge uh, is, it's a challenge probably not only for Erie, but for other centers as well. Uh, in the early days, uh, uh, the mandate was fairly simple and straightforward, increased rice production in Asia. And uh, so the focus and the priority was there. Uh, since that time, uh, we've gone from food security to environment and poverty and other areas and so forth. So that in many ways, uh, the mandates of Erie and of the other centers uh, have tended to expand. And, and the real challenge that, uh, that is faced now is being sure that your uh, Area, uh, Erie operates in the area where it has the greatest comparative advantage and so forth. Now, for example, that means uh, upstream uh, the challenge is to ha have the appropriate connection with biotechnology and with the advanced institutions and for developing, uh, uh, developing biotechnology uh, research. And uh, downstream it means in part uh, ability to transfer some of that uh, biotechnology expertise down, uh, but it also uh, means uh, focusing uh, downstream on those areas that are going to complement what the NARS are doing. Uh, the NARS now, uh, uh, I mean one of, the, one of the things to recognize of course is that the NARS now are uh, much more competent than they were back in say 1960, so that they can handle a lot of the uh, traditional work that Yuri was doing in agronomy and things like that. So the, the challenge is to find that niche uh, and uh, be able to uh, uh, f f set the priorities so that, as one, as one person uh, told me, uh, a friend of mine told me, uh, Yuri or any of the other centers should be noted not, f f not for what the research they, they intend to do, but, but for the research that they won't do. You know, what, what, what is it that you, Erie won't do that someone else has the comparative advantage and so forth? And I think it's not only Erie, but, but the other centers as well uh, that face that kind of problem. Uh, and uh, I think that um, uh, in, in, in economics, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same uh, sort of question, the decision of what you decide to work on. Now, in, in the beginning, just to, to, to sort of take you through, when I first came to uh, Erie, uh, 1966, uh, it was just before IR8, and uh, it was, you know, people at that time looked at Erie and said, uh, that's a nice set of buildings, but I don't think anybody's going to produce anything out of this, uh, you know, out of this work. There was a real skepticism locally and probably nationally about whether Erie would ever amount to anything and whatnot. Then it, coming to Erie was like buying into a cheap stock that all of a sudden it took off. And, and there you were sort of riding the, you know, on the, uh, so forth on that, that extreme. And uh, I think that uh, 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 over time uh, that, uh, that, that, that challenge has broadened, the, the mandate has broadened and the challenge has become uh, more difficult. When I was in uh, going, in, you mentioned the cons constraints project. In that middle 70s, we had really two focuses. One was constraints, and the other was consequences. What? Ha why weren't they adopting? If they did adopt, who benefited? That was. A, those were the simple questions that we could really focus on. Now. Even in economics, uh, we're moving into areas of gender equity and other issues and so forth, of which, and, and, and as I say, uh, uh, as you, one looks at the um, strategic plans, I think it would be interesting to look over time at the history of these plans, because I think it, uh, in, in the beginning, there was a very sharp, narrow focus, and this has expanded. So this really is the challenge that I think faces any department uh, at Erie and Erie in general is keeping the mandate sufficient so that you can focus the research on those issues where you have a comparative advantage where nobody else can do the same thing.